My name is Terry Shez Vitella and welcome to my Inktober series. The idea is that you make a drawing every day using ink. I will walk you through this sketch pad right here. Why don't we just walk to my drafting table. From there I will show you the illustrations of that particular Inktober. This is the sketch pad I used for the Inktober 2017. By this point, I had kind of become really comfortable with the Canson uh, bristle paper. I kept using the recycled. No, no real reason. I've actually never used the other one, which the other one I think is just a yellow color pad. I would assume it's, it's about the same. Again, this one has 25 pages, which means that I had to use six additional pages, or I think in some cases I just cut the pages in half. And this one is a 14 by 17. This is actually the biggest one I've used. This is a Bowie sketch and I just wanted to do something very simplistic. I think one of the things that you notice starting a new Inktober, I was kind of start where I left off where again, it was super simple lines. I think it was the same thing where I just wanted to do something very simple at first. Did mess up a lot on the face on this one. I think I've used this design for something or another. I think this is the very first drawing where you could really see what I was going for during this Inktober. I bought a bunch of different nibs. And this one I was using like calligraphy nibs to give it something a little bit trashy, a little bit more aggressive. Another thing that I did is that I started working with brushes more. I started researching Bill Watterson and trying to figure out what tools he used. This was a um, Red Riding Hood. This is the calligraphy dip pens. This is a uh, dip pens again. This is Eddie Guerrero. And uh, this is just a different uh, Depends, which I've actually used this drawing for different things as of late. This is from Kill Bill. I, there was going to be more people down here, but I didn't really want to take too much away from her, which actually, if I would have done it properly, I would have probably given her more focus. This is a study of Jack Kirby, a comic book artist. I was really trying to capture his line work. I was using brushes for this. I was trying to do exactly what he had done. Blade Runner. This is Bill Watterson, Calvin and Hobbes drawing. And here I was really trying to get as close to the original Bill Watterson, uh, trying to write the way that he wrote, trying to get the lines pretty much exactly to his. I mean, there are a few mistakes, but it got pretty close. Besides Bill Watterson, one of the biggest reasons why I was using brushes as opposed to dip pens has to do with comic book artist Charles Burns. And every now and then he will upload drawings of some of his favorite artists, musicians, or actors. It's just an ink wash of Sandman. I think I was in a hurry this day, so I just needed something simple. This is white gel pens. Oftentimes when I have nothing to draw, I draw animals. This was just a study on a wolf. This is Chris Jericho. He's my favorite wrestler. And again, trying to get that brush work similar to Charles Burns. I think once you, you've been doing artwork for long enough, you figure out ways of making your mistakes or turning your mistakes into a, a stylistic choice. I think here I was trying to erase something and then eventually I just figured that would look like a cool background. On this particular day, I asked on Instagram, I think, or maybe Facebook, what should I draw? I have no idea who this wrestler is. I actually don't even know if he still wrestles. I just made it because someone suggested it. Uh, this is a, an aloe vera plant that I used to have. And uh, yeah, just something quick. And I added a little bit of watercolor, just a quick little wash. Chanel Monet, again, still kind of going for the Charles Burns thing. This here probably shouldn't have been there. It's not a perfect drawing. I, th there are a lot of things that I probably would have changed or would have done differently nowadays. Jimmy Kimmel. Kind of want to say that this is brushwork, but I am not 100% sure right now. Yeah, this is brushwork. Yeah. On this day, I had uh, some markers on me. I did three quick drawings with a brush pen. I think Beck had posted this on his Instagram. I thought it was a cool picture, so I made a quick drawing of it. St. Vincent had, the, had posted something cool on Instagram, so just made the drawing. And St. Vincent had posted this other really cool picture on Instagram. I just made two St. Vincent drawings that same day. And I kind of like the uh, messiness of it, of, of showing the underdrawing. This is actually probably the worst drawing of all of October 2017. And it was, I just didn't get any of it right. But I think I was in a hurry. And if I'm not mistaken, this was like a Sunday, I think it was. And I had some family events and I just did something very quick, but really unhappy with this one. This is like 2015 
Inktober quality. On this day, my computer crashed. I made an illustration of some of the stuff that I had created with the help of my computer. This is Poppy. Again, this is a uh, brushwork. I actually really like this drawing. This here, I kind of think I fucked up somehow. I think I kind of accidentally dragged the ink or just some dumb thing I might have done. This is probably the most Charles Burns drawing that I have. This is Brandon Flowers of the Killers. I really like doing things like exaggerated hands, but I kind of don't know if it works for this one. I had just finished reading this comic book called I Hate Fairyland. I think one of the best things to do with art is to suggest art to other people. And uh, if people get to read more comic books because of my artwork, then, you know, that's a win. Adam West, again, another Batman drawing. I don't know if he's my favorite Batman, but he's certainly the Batman I draw the most. This is Ben Schwartz. I guess that's the second time I draw him because he was part of the very first Inktober. I think this was one of the days where I was hanging out with a friend and I was running out of time. And I just drew something on my travel sketchbook. Guns N' Roses, this is... Axel and Slash. If I'm being honest, this is probably one of the worst drawings in the sketchbook. Sometimes when it comes down to it, like the thing about Inktober is that you have 31 days, you don't have to complete the challenge, but I think part of it is that sometimes you post a drawing simply because it's the deadline and you don't have much time. But I think one thing that, that you get good at is figuring out, you know, maybe you don't have enough time and therefore you do something simpler. Exhibit A. This day, I certainly didn't have much time. I was going to a family party. So instead of doing something complex, I did a profile of a character from the comic book saga. I don't remember his name right now. I think it's something very simple. Anthony Bourdain. Uh, just, I, I don't know, I think he's cool. Batman from uh, Batman 66. They used to have this bit where they would climb up a building and then a celebrity would open a window. So I made a drawing about my, with my comic book character. This was the last day of Inktober. Thought it'd be appropriate to do something with a Halloween character, but I didn't really feel like doing a Halloween character. So made the drawing of Willie, Grasskeeper Willie of the Simpsons in a Freddy Krueger outfit. It's from an episode of Treehouse of Horror. Inktober 2017 is the year with the largest sketch pad. There are certain things that I did I had to challenge myself to force myself to kind of grow. One of the uh, notable things would be that I did everything with a brush or not everything, but I did a lot of the work with a brush. I mean, I think that's one of the things that you got to do when you're doing an art challenge is you got to figure out ways to become a better artist. For me this year, one of the things that to me was get better with a brush get better with a brush so i i would say that you know if you're trying inktober for the first time or, or what have you maybe start off with a microns and then from there go to dip pens and then try in uh try brushes because brushes are probably like the hardest ones to really control but overall i think this inktober really helped me to become better with a brush definitely more more confident i mean i think prior to this but well prior to this i would only use a brush if it was for an ink wash or if it was to fill in large areas of um of just black whereas now a brush could be just because that's the way i want it to look so one of the drawings that's missing from this it's it's a gift i gave it away as a gift and the gift was it's actually one of my favorite drawings that i've ever made as a drawing of There Will Be Blood. But besides that, I think I, I pretty much have everything in this sketch pad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next week, I will be uploading my 2018 Inktober. I'll see you then. Just here to tell you that really the, the best way to start is to get started. Inking is a little intimidating. Once you give it a shot, it's actually really fun. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, share it, like, comment. You can follow me on social medias just about anywhere. My Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr are all down below. I also make comic books. Those are also linked down below. Besides that, I write essays and that's also linked down below. Anyway, thanks for watching.